guys, Brandy here. Uh, so today, I thought that we could do a really quick get ready with me. I want to see how fast I can get. Oh, hang on. Watching YouTube, sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted to do a really quick get ready with me. I have to go run some errands because we are going to Mississippi um, tomorrow morning. So, as usual, I'm a procrastinator. So, instead of doing this, well, not really because it's kind of spur of the moment, but... I wanted to see just how fast I could slap on a face real quick because um, I've never done that before. <laughs> so we're going to see how far we get. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prime using the Revline Color Stay Prime and Protect Primer Base. I just started using this. I like it. It's not bad. Um, it's got that kind of like a silicone slickness to it. I have my mirror down here, guys. That's what I'm looking at. Um, but I think it works pretty well. Pretty well. Sorry. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, we're going to throw that on. How are you guys doing today on a Wednesday? Uh, mine's going pretty good. We got some really bad storms here last night. Um, I said a quick prayer. Uh, for everybody hoping they'd be all right here looks like they're coming up from South Texas or well Southeast Texas and uh, so I hope you guys if you got the same ones I hope you're doing okay there because it was take it down the neck it was kind of wild last night that's for sure and I have a lot of big trees around the house so um, kind of worried about things like that but we were watched over, and uh, everything was okay. Take it down the neck. Oh. And I didn't show you guys that. I'm using, this is the Revline Colorstay Light Cover Foundation. 12 hours in a natural finish. I got the color 280. I think it's tawny, I think. Um, but I, I've enjoyed this one. It's more, I mean, it's not a heavy coverage. It's not full coverage by any means, and it's definitely a natural finish. Um, I usually like uh, dewy products because my skin is so dry. Like I say, it is definitely like the Sahara. Sahara, that's what we say down here, Sahara. I was watching a TikTok. There's this guy from Mississippi. I don't remember what his name is. I need to find that out. But uh, I absolutely love him. He's pretty great. Um, he was talking about our accents, and he said, you know, us in the South, and that's the whole South, we have a way of speaking that you might need subtitles to be able to understand us, and I know that's definitely true here, and uh, his was, you know, the majority of things people know is, how's your mom and them, or uh, she ain't eating, and that was his example. Uh, she ain't even, uh, she ain't even having it. She ain't even for it. She's, uh, not feeling like dealing with that today <laughs> is what that means. And I thought, you know, I guess we do. I never really thought about it before. Uh, I'm going to be using the clean brush from, is this Dominique Cosmetics? Yeah, Dominique Cosmetics. It's pretty. I like it. It's like a peachy color. It looks darker on there, but it's really not. It's a peach. And, uh. You know what? I'm just going to use a camera. <laughs> and I slap that on. I used to not be a big blush person, but I am these days. Because it you look healthy. But if you wear too much, it definitely dates you. You look like you're going to a party in the 80s. Or at least I do anyway. I did catch some of the 80s. I have an older sister. That's when she was brought up. I'm more of a 90s baby, but, you know. And uh, I just dropped my beauty blender on the floor. I just mopped, but I'm still not going to pick it up and use it on my face. So I guess we're switching to brushes. Uh, for powder, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal 24-Hour Fresh Wear Powder Foundation. I like this one. I like the red more than I like the ageless one. I don't know what the difference is. You would think they would be the same or that the age perfect would actually be more moisturizing, but I find it the other way around. Um, you know, 
we generally use setting spray anyway. I use a hydrating setting spray when I'm done, but you still don't want that powdery look. And um, I find that if I use that Age Perfect, that that's what I get. But I'll tell you, my favorite powder foundation is the one size uh, powder foundation. If you guys have ever used that, I've got to get me some more. I love that, and I love the BB cream, or the BBB cream, I believe it is for them. Um, but that was really good. And like I said, I still have the BB cream. I find myself using the, uh, let's see, what is this? The L'Oreal Age Perfect 4-in-1 Tinted Balm, uh, mostly these days, just because it's so quick and easy. I just slap it on and we are ready to go. Um, alrighty. So, let's see. Hmm. I'm wearing this black and white tie-dye. It's a jogging. It's got joggers with it. Jogging set today. I'm going to be comfortable. So, I guess for our eye look, we're just going to do real, real, real quick. I'm just going to do a basic nude eye. And I have to have my mirror for that one. Well, I say nude eye, but we're just going to go with some basic browns. Anytime you're in a hurry, <laughs> that's always a good look. And I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to not do anything today. I wanted to do something. I guess I could have just threw my hair up like this. I just got out of the shower. I guess I just could have put my hair up in a bun and just hightailed it. I've got my house shoes on. I'm just going to Wal <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys seen the, uh, have you seen that on YouTube? Um, I don't know the name of it, but it's basically videos from Walmart of these people that, uh, they go in and let me tell you something, they definitely, definitely comfortable with themselves. I could be one of them. I could see myself getting caught up on the Walmart YouTube do you see what this woman has on? <laughs> I don't think I want to be known for that. Be Peter Ma and be YouTube famous for the wrong thing. Well, you know, he's just YouTube famous. I like Peter Ma and I think he's fabulous. But uh, I don't want to be YouTube famous for looking atrocious in Walmart, right? That's not our thing. It's not my thing anyway. All right. And go with the little halo eye, throw some of that in the middle, and come on, Brandy. Hurry, girl, hurry. I'm going to blend that in with my fingers on the end, you know, for some definition. Our fingers are our best tools, you guys. Anybody else make that real funny face with your mouth whenever you're doing your eye makeup? Anybody else but me do that? Or is it just me? Is it just me? Am I just a weirdo? And I forgot my... <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. I'm so sorry. I know. I know, I know. It's like dead air, but I absolutely forgot my fluffy brush. And I apologize, but uh, you got to blend it. And, um, that's a must. You can't walk out without your eyeshadow unblended. I'm sorry. Did you get that beautiful view of my dirty kitchen in the background? <laughs> I got to do that today, too. My husband and my aunt will be here, but, you know, I'm going to be gone for about a week. And, Lord, I didn't clean this brush. We're going to be a hot mess. I have a color switch, and I just washed them so, uh, with some cleaner and scrubbed them, you know, disinfected them. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, uh, let's add some more over here. This is definitely turning into something it wasn't supposed to be now. That is for sure. I wonder why that one looks so much darker on camera. Because I'm looking down in the mirror and it's actually not. I'm going to have to change. Alright. 
so we got that. Let me throw some of this. Uh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Um, this is the, one of the Redline cream pots, the Color Stay cream pots. In case you guys can't tell, Walgreens was having a sale on their Redline products. Can you see that now? It's like a gold shimmery brown. So I'm just going to throw that on in the middle and uh, call it good, maybe. Unless this absolutely ruins everything. In which case, I'll just send my husband to the store with the list. <laughs> He'll love that. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. This video is probably going to be all over the place, but... We are doing real life around here. You know, that's what everybody's doing. We're just living. <laughs> that works. All right, so we got that. That's done. Um, do I want to use a brown? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to throw a little bit of this. This is the Double Take Awake Tarte uh, Dual Ended. This is the black eyeliner, and this is a nude kind of highlighter-ish color. I find that I like kind of throwing this in the inner corner, and I used it in my waterline, you guys, and guess what? It's not bad for that, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to do that again. It sure makes you look awake. So, yeah, we're going to throw some of that in there. I'm going to come back and show you my outfit <laughs> of the day because, yeah, I'm definitely going to change. I was going to wear this, but it don't take but two seconds to throw on some jeans. Yeah, you see that? Ooh, buddy, that is highlighted. It's a look. It might not be a good... Man, on camera, let me tell you. On camera, that is something else. You see that? It, it doesn't... It, it doesn't look like that in the mirror. Um, wow. We might have to get rid of that. We'll see. <laughs> That's something. So, I'm going to go in there. You see how thin that is? I really like that. Uh, for eyeliner. I keep forgetting which way the little camera is on here. The tip of that is so thin and I just do the outside corner of my upper lid. I tight line but we're not doing that today. Like I said this is going to be a mess. But I just wanted to see. You know normally it will take me about 30 minutes to do a decent job and I just wanted to see if I could do it quicker. Um, I don't have my eyelash curler. I'm not getting back up again, so we're not even going to bother curling the lashes. This is the Stila. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's Stila. Ah, Stila Huge Extreme Length Mascara. So we're going to throw that on real quick. I didn't even think about my brows, guys. I did not even think about my eyebrows. Let's see if I can throw some on my bottom lashes. I have to be real careful when it comes to the bottom lashes because I'll put too much on and we'll end up having raccoon eyes on the bottom, which is fine if that's what you're going for. It's a look, but it's not what I'm going to go for today. So, uh, yeah. Mm -mm. And uh, for a lip, I think I'm just going to do a gloss and a liner. This is the oh, Persona Cosmetics 90210 lip liner right here. I've been thinking about not getting the, um, not filler, I don't want lip filler. But it's, they inject it into your top lip, and it just turns it up a little bit. Not the duck mouth. Um, it's not a cosmetic procedure. It's an injection. But I have no top lip to speak of. I never have. Um, and I definitely... Oh, my Lord. You see that? <laughs> it's because I'm trying to talk. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's supposed to just turn it up enough to where you have you actually have a Cupid's bow. You know what I mean? 
This is the Lipgasm Trust Fund Beauty in the color Unprofessional, and it's a bright pink. And I know you think it's not going to go with the, that darker liner, but... Mm. It actually does, I think. I think it's pretty. Mm. There we go. Alright, well, it's a look. I'm going to throw something in my hair. I'm not going to take the time to dry it. I'm going to let it air dry, but I think I'm going to throw some of the some leave-in conditioner and maybe a... Oh, my goodness. Oh, I thought I had some gloss in there and maybe some oil or something up in there and then I might do my eyebrows and I'll be right back to show you what I'm wearing today just in case you care so hey guys alrighty I'm back so I did throw some uh, eyebrow pomade in my eyebrows it's the light brown color the 24 hour KVD super brow right there and today's fragrance is going to be the Garmond White Flowers. This is the Dossier brand. You know, I've seen this all over YouTube and all over Instagram. And it's supposed to be imitation for uh, different fragrances like, I don't know, Versace or uh, YSL. As a matter of fact, they have them at Walmart now. And the YSL Black Opium was a choice. Oh, if y'all hear that in the background, I'm watching Miss Carol. <laughs> Uh, Miss Carol Gardner today and uh, if you guys don't subscribe to her please do she is a hoot um, anyway so this is the gourmand white flowers it is top notes of bergamot green tea freesia berries and middle notes of white flowers orchid and rose your base notes are musk patchouli uh, caramel and vanilla and they have them at Walmart this is the Victor and Roth flower bomb, and I have that back there, um, but I don't like wearing it every day. Um, so for every day, I've never smelled an imitation fragrance that actually smells like the real thing, but I got it because I wanted to see if it actually smelled like the real thing. And I've never smelled the black opium, but I know that a lot of you out there really like it, so I might try that next. Um, but if you don't want to drop a hundred bucks or over on a fragrance, this is actually a really good. Uh, second choice good dupe i guess you could call it so yeah and for my hair let's see i don't want to get all in your face um i threw in the playa leave-in conditioner and that works well and i put a little bit of this moroccan oil on the ends of it um and it'll i didn't really i didn't put any gel or anything in there that's all i did so but i'm going to be wearing my uh my beanie <laughs> today because it's cold and I've never known how to style hair under a beanie um, so if you guys happen to know you can give me some tips maybe drop me a link that shows you how to do it because I have no idea and uh, my little gloves here because it is 50 degrees here in Louisiana and that is like being in the inside of a freezer <laughs> it is for me anyway <sighs> But last night, I told you guys, we had those real bad storms, and then today, it's like it never even happened. Um, my sweater is Kim Rogers. I got that at Belk, and I think it was like $30. Um, my jeans are seven, or uh, which ones are these? I think it's like the Levi's stretch denim or something, you know. Um, my bag is, goodness. Nine West, I think I picked this up at Burt's for probably 30 bucks, maybe, 30, 40 dollars, but it's pretty good size tote. Ignore my kitchen. Uh, let's see, is my camera going to follow me? Camera, are you going to follow me? It's not, it don't care. Okay, well, maybe you'll be able to see it. Um, but yeah, these are the Levi's stretch denim because we need some stretch. I need some stretch. And then I've got my London Fog uh, furry boots on. This is my first time wearing them. They're really comfortable. Uh, but that's it. And I think the whole purpose of this was for me to see how fast I could get ready. And I've absolutely blown that out the window because I didn't look at the time for the makeup. And we're hitting 3 minutes and 53 seconds that I've been talking. But it probably took me 5 minutes to throw my clothes on and grab my bag. So, anyway. 
anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I wanted to put something up today. I want to start posting more often. And uh, let me know if you liked it. Um, maybe it was too hectic for you. But uh, if you like it, maybe I'll post some more impromptu things. Um, you know, I want to start putting out a vlog every Saturday, one that's actually edited and put together. Oh, you can see my tank top under this thing. I tell you, sweaters are so thin these days. Anyway, um, that's more of an edited type of situation, and I'm still struggling to find a decent editor. Um, I think I'm working with one that I kind of liked, but... Anyway, that's it, you guys. I'm going to run to Walmart, run some errands, and I will talk to you guys later. I might even take you with me and show you a little bit of uh, whatever it is I got. So, um, anyway, see you guys later. Stay safe, stay cozy, have fun, and uh, I don't know. I don't have anything witty to say. I love you guys. Bye.